Belgium. 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 France's tiny neighbor. This small country has become a hotbed of jihadism. Recently, Belgium and Brussels became worldwide news, but not in a positive way. First, the attack on our national airport, and moments later, the suicide bombing in a metro station in Brussels. This was not just a human disaster. The economic consequences were also huge. Belgians stayed home, and tourists avoided Brussels. Before the attacks, the terror threat level was at the highest level, so restaurants already suffered. But now, they really saw their business go down. The bankruptcy rate of Brussels restaurants increased by 1,500%. The Tête and Lico, the two major business newspapers in Belgium, decided to join forces and do something to help the Belgian economy. Hashtag Dining for Brussels was launched, a national call to fight back the Belgian way, by eating. Come dine in Brussels again and spread the message by making a peace sign on your finished plate with your cutlery. Take a picture and share it with the hashtag Dining for Brussels. Within hours after the launch, our message became nationwide news and we reached a third of the Belgian population on the first day with four million social media impressions. Hashtag Dining for Brussels immediately became the number one trending topic on Twitter. Restaurant owners felt supported by the amount of Instagram pics that were shared. It was the first initiative that came to life after a spiral of negative news and it struck a chord with the Belgians. It remembered them as a nation of gourmands. Only Belgians could ever fight back with a knife, a fork and a spoon.